Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week we're going to be feeding the slings. Alright, so I just wanted to do a quick micro tour. So we've got Leo and Chai, they're crested geckos. We've got Tofu and we've got Wolf, Theraphosostomy, Hognose. Then we've got Honey, the Leopard Gecko, Daisy, Aphonopelma Calcodes. And then in her three foot vib on the bottom, we've got Baby Kiro. So then over here, we've got Nyx, a Genicolata, a couple of mature males. On the shelf above, we've got some tadpoles, curly hair, P. Lagardi, LP, Nandu Tripopy. Then we have a bunch on this shelf. Basically, this is where I keep all my juveniles and adult tarantulas kind of on this shelf here. So I'm showing you this because today we're going to be feeding the slings so they are here. So I have a relatively... <laughs> Look who's come to say hello! It's Mochi and she hates me. If she knew I could see her she'd be gone. This is my nursery and it's quite a small one compared to the sizes that I've got another keepers have, but what I'm trying to do at the moment is just grow on the slings that I've got so that I don't run out of room. We've got basically a bit of everything here. We've got some true spiders, we've got some old world, some new world, we've got um, a little dwarf um, juvenile by there which is a press malezzi, and we've got some huntsmen, true spiders, and we're just going to go through all of these today and give them a feed. Okay, so I've got all the slings out and I'm sat here with them and we're basically just going to do like a routine maintenance like I would once or twice a week with the slings, doing it a bit more often at the moment in the heat just to keep the water levels high enough, just to keep them hydrated. We're going to kick off with the sling slings. Okay, so we've got a cute few couple different things in here, so let's just get them out. So in here is... A baby Phidippus regius, which you can kind of not make out on the roof of the tub. There they are. They're looking really great, actually. This is one of the few that I bred myself that I'm keeping back. Um, so I'm super careful with these because they're so, so fragile. And I don't want to squish you now. So in here we've got a Cereopagopus lividus, but this isn't mine, it's actually my friend's and they've asked me to raise it for them, which is a major honour. I think I can... no? Oh, I thought I could see a, a malt down there, but I can't. When I checked on it the other day, I had quite a big abdomen. So I'm not going to feed it, I'm just going to keep the moisture levels high for that one. In here we've got an Aphonopelma hensi and it is the cutest little thing. The Aphonopelma genus reminds me of glorified pet rocks so I named her Glory after that account. Her abdomen is looking good so we're just Oh, sorry baby. I'm just going to give you some water and leave you be. Okay, this is another Phidippus regius. It's probably set a base in the moss. That's not it before you start panicking. <laughs> That's a fly. So I'm just going to give it some water. Leave it be. Then we've got another Phidippus regius, which is looking really, really good if I can get it to focus. Um, that one's looking the healthiest out of the three that I've set aside for myself. So this is the Davis Pentalorus that was part of the mystery box that was gifted to me by Spider Provider. On the abdomen you can already see the stripes where it's got its name, the tiger rump, which is really cool. Um, but this one doesn't look like it needs a feed either and actually the moisture levels in there are fine. And this is a little Hatropoda David Bowie. As you can see, it's just right, right there. So that one ate earlier this week and it ate a nice fly. So I'm just gonna give that one 
you can see it there against my finger. I'm just gonna give that a bit of moisture and just so it doesn't bolt. Ooh, <laughs> it's so fast. Right. All right, so up next we've got this uh, Tiger Wandering Spider, which I believe is the Supermius Soleil. This one moves at an erratic speed. To be entirely honest, I'm not sure if it needs to eat. But you know, I'll offer. So basically this spider doesn't give about anyone. It wasn't put on this planet to care. Okay, so we are going to drop cricket. It's funny though, because if that was a tarantula, I would have left it open, but I just don't trust this guy. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Ooh! Did you see the speed on that man? Jesus, right. So now I'm gonna try, <laughs> it doesn't like being sprayed down. Next up is this Summer Pierce Aminia and actually weirdly, I was getting a bit worried about it but as you can see at the top there, it's a little tiny malt. And that is so cute. I hadn't seen it in quite a while and it's built a burrow that's quite opaque. So, that's good though, that means I don't need to check on it because that was not there the other day. The other day when I checked this one, she'd molted so she's down the bottom there which you can see but I can also see a molt just in the burrow right there but she hasn't kicked it out yet so I'll leave that for now. I'm just going to offer her some water. This is the princess, she's a Gramostola Poteri and she was in heavy, heavy, heavy pre-malt last time I saw her. And, oh, <laughs> she definitely still is. Her abdomen is so shiny, I'm so sorry baby girl. I shall leave you in peace. Then we got Grim, who's my only Hillebrachus in my horde of animals. He's made his home in the eyeball of this skull that he's webbed over, which is pretty cool. Killabrachus are my absolute tarantula kryptonite. And so he's actually the only Killabrachus that I have. Next up we have Nandor. She's coming along nicely, but she's a really good eater. So let's see if we can get her to tongue feed. Yes, nice. She's great. Look at the spinner rat movements, it's so cute. Even though this is an arid species, I will moisten down one corner every week so that it has the option of water should it want it. In here is my Pseudohapalopa species blue, and this is Fly, and she will never, ever, 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 ever stay in her enclosure. So she's in pre-malt at the moment, and I'm really tempted to try her in a kind of arboreal setup not proper arboreal but the kind of semi-arboreal sort of setups you would use we're going up yeah we're going up but she absolutely hates being in her enclosure the second i open it she comes straight out and goes for a wander and she has some of the weirder behaviors of my tarantulas because it doesn't matter how i set her up she doesn't ever make a hide. She just tends to wander around, not really doing much, which is super weird, I think. So that brings us on to some of my favorites now. This is Raja, and she is a Ceratogerus Darlingi, one of my favorite old worlds also. She has the best appetite of all time, and I think she'll tongue feed as well. Let's see if she feels like eating today. Oh yeah! This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. 
Look at those little tiny fangs in action. You can see her abdomen go in as she's webbing up, doing a little happy dance. You go, girl. So I bought her from BTS and she was with a bunch of juveniles and I have eventually sexed her as a female. Now, whether that's accurate is another thing, but I think I am correct and I'm pretty good at that stuff. This one might be hard to see, so I'm just going to come in with the professional lighting. So this is my Gramostola Rosea, and her name is Baked Bean, because she's orange when she molts, so my friend named her. And despite the fact that she's just molted, her abdomen is actually looking pretty big. Yes! Nice takedown. The last one we're going to do is with my guy Storm, which I'm actually going to film on my phone because my camera's about to die. Alright, so we're going to see if he will eat, and yes, he will. He's absolutely stunning. Me and my son would like to say thank you for watching today. This was a bit of a short one, but I actually got some good takedowns for a change and it wasn't just 10 minutes of my animals mugging me off as per usual. If you've enjoyed this video, I would like you to subscribe, like and share on your social medias. Tag me so I can see it and we'll catch you again next time. I love you.